Hey everybody, welcome to another Snifflebile video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to have a conditional author box based uh, upon the uh, author's nickname. And uh, we're using the nickname as opposed to an ID or other value because a nickname uh, should be unique to the author and it is a required field for the user. So, um, with that in mind, let's go and see how we're going to do that. Uh, I'll show you what we're using here uh, tonight. Uh, the theme we're using is uh, Generate Press. And the uh, plugins that we have here are Anywhere Elementor. And that's to give you the uh, short code that we're going to need. And this is the free version of Anywhere Elementor that's available in the plugin re repository. Uh, I installed Duplicate Post uh, so that I could duplicate the, the two author boxes, uh, or the three that were, well, the two duplicates <laughs> uh, that we uh, created in uh, Anywhere Elementor. And, of course, Elementor itself. And GP Premium, that's to uh, give us the uh, hooks uh, locations that we can use. And we have simple CSS, but... Mike will like that. There is no CSS being used in this video. So um, let's go over to AE templates and you can see I've already got them created. Uh, so I'll just go and show you one to show you what I did. So I basically have a, a, a three column section. That's it. Added an image uh, to the first column. Um, I and a uh, heading to the center column and then just the text block uh, in the right column. And then here I uh, added a uh, background color to the section so we can tell them apart easily. And uh, so I did that, came back over to here and then uh, click new draft, change the uh, author, this part, Bert, open an Elementor and change the picture, the background color, and the uh, heading text. And the same with the other one. And you'll see this one's the one that we have for that nice little vertical social menu that uh, I showed you how to do in the last video. So that's about it for there. And uh, let's go have a look in the front of the site. So here, uh, this is set up just the plain vanilla install of WordPress. So this is showing your blog posts and um, I won't click through there because I've already got it in uh, but I'll show you where we go and do that so we go to uh, appearance uh, GP hooks and it's in the after content uh, area and uh, here's the code that we're using and I'll just explain it to you uh, and of course this code will be available on the uh, on the page there in the uh, Snifflebow website under uh, GP and uh, Elementor Tutorial. So what we're doing up here in this first one is uh, we're going to set a variable called author, and uh, we're going to and it, we use the get the author meta uh, with the uh, nickname as what we want to get, and that that will get. Uh, the author's nickname and in this case it's uh, admin Liz and Bert is what I've set up or that's what gets generated as their default nickname when I enter their uh, new user information and then we're going to use the uh, switch method right on author so for the case where it's admin We'll do this short code, insert Elementor with this ID. And 51 is the ID uh, for admin. Uh, and uh, 45 is the ID is for the author box for Liz. And 48 is the ID for the author box for Bert. And then you make sure that execute PHP is ticked and save hooks. And just to show you here again, uh, we'll go over to uh, 
the admin, and here's where we get that value. 51. Bert's is 48. And Liz's is 45. So that's where we get those. So now, let's go see that in action now that it's all set up. So we go here to admin, and there it is. I'll go into a Bert post. And there's Bert's, the one I set up for Bert. And here's the one for Liz. And uh, that's pretty much about it. Now, well, there's a sample page. But uh, if I'll just go show you one thing here is why we put this in, uh, in that first statement. If is single, right, that means if, the page is showing a single post. If I just go and take that out, let me just cut that out and save. Now we'll go back to the front and refresh. You'll see I get an error. <laughs> That's because I didn't do it right. And that's what happens when you're not paying attention and you take out too much. I ended up taking out that semicolon which I shouldn't have. So now we go back and now you can see what happens is that uh, the author boxes are displayed on the uh, blog archive page. So and that's why we go and uh, have it the way it was. Maybe I'll put that back in. And sure enough, there's two and that, whoops. That's all it takes. It's one character out of whack. And uh, you're done. So there we go. All gone. There's Liz. There's Bert. And there's Admin. So that's how you can uh, set it up for uh, a conditional display of author box. And uh, of course, if you were to have more authors or not as many, uh, you could still do it. Uh, this way um, one thing you have to mind is just after the last one uh, you don't need the break uh, statement in there it can you can just finish it off okay so uh, hope you enjoyed that and can put it to use somewhere and as always uh, don't uh, forget to subscribe here on the sniffle valve site as well as the sniffle valve youtube channel and one of these days, I'm going to show you how to do this. I'll just refresh here. I get this uh, little pop-up window. Where I have my sign-up form. Um, complete with a little close box. Uh, that will go away after 50 seconds. That's what I have it set up to go away at. And uh, just so you know, that's all CSS. There's nothing funny there at all. Uh, I even didn't know that you could time stuff with CSS, but you can. Anyways, that's it for this one, and uh, we'll see you again at the next Zippo Valve video.